Hello, everyone in Inverclyde, all the key workers, or as I like to think of you, key humans. It's Emma Thompson here um, with her COVID bags under her eyes and her COVID hat covering her COVID hair, saluting you from lockdown um, with all my heart, your um, bravery, your courage and your determination and your resilience um, have been a beacon to everyone in the area. Um, I was asked by the Daily Mail because I decided to donate to their PPE campaign because I thought it was very good that a national newspaper, which normally doesn't give you ways to help with all the terrible news that it um, is <laughs> telling you, I thought that was a very good campaign. And they said, would I like to link it to a local trust? And I immediately thought of you, Inverclyde, because um, we were here when it all started and all kicked off. And we know that you were hit um, very early and hit very hard because there's such huge health inequality in the area and that you responded with an incredible, um, well, effectiveness uh, with very, very little in the way of resources. Um, and so you just have been extraordinary. I had a wonderful conversation with one of your acute consultants, Abby Gunn, hello Abby, um, who said that the way she described you all as a was as a great yes population, that whatever was asked of you, whatever extra was asked of you, extra long shifts, all of the hours that you put in, you always just said yes. And she also described the patients as being utterly delightful to care for, because I think we do forget that care should and can go both ways. You can care for your carers, which I think is what the Daily Mail is trying to do, and and what it's giving the opportunity for their readership to do. Um, my my love to you um, and my boundless admiration and my hope that um, when the war is over, we live in a world that doesn't go back to normal with regard to the NHS, that goes back to a new normal where the NHS is recognised as what stands between us and calamity, our greatest institution, and that everyone who works in it is valued accordingly, um, financially and resourced, um, proportionate to what you do for us and what you stand for. Um, so hopes and love and gratitude um, from, from lockdown.